Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Hello, so I am going to talk on an another very interesting topic that is called building relationships. In my previous lecture, I was emphasizing about the communication relationship. Now, the question is that uh, how to build relationship that also is some sort of a skill and uh, again our communication behavior playing very very vital role in building relationships. You all will agree that a relationship matters a lot in our life. If you are having good relationship in our family with our colleagues, with our friends, uh, life will be very enjoying, very interesting. But those who are having uh, not good relationship, I will not use the word bad, rather not good re relationship with others, they face lots of problem. Since morning till evening, they keep on just complaining, blaming uh, each other and uh, cursing the system, cursing the people, creating problem for others. So, relationship is very, very important in our life. So, today I am going to talk that how we can build relationship. Before I start, uh, we have to understand uh, that no, I, I would like to say this way that no relationship is permanent in this world. Now, some of you can say why not, you know, uh, in our family in intimate relationship, close relationship, for example, uh, mother and children, father and son, uh, daughter and mother family members, they are having very close relationship, they are having very intimate relationships. Yes, it is right, it is correct. But please remember, when I say that no relationship is permanent in this world, I mean to say that any relationship may be very intim intimate relationship, even between wife and husband, brother, sisters, father and son, mother and daughter, the time comes the situation comes in our life that we are having problems, we are having conflicts. This is our human nature, behavior. It is it's something very complex. At times, we are not able to understand what happens. Even in our close relationships, it takes time to understand. We have seen that very close friends till yesterday and next day, one fine morning, we find that something has happened. and. Uh, they have broken the relationship. They are not talking. For the last so many years, they were very close, very good friends. We, we see that wife and husband quarreling, fighting. We have seen then even the son and the mother, even the father and the son, daughter and the mother, they are having problems, they are having issues. They do not talk with each other for some time. And even sometimes situation becomes so worse that due to property problem or many other issues, people are going to the court. We have seen even the son and the mother, daughter and the mother, father and the son, they go to the court. And here, this, this is something very, one can say, th these are the very intimate relationship, very close relationship. So, what is required in fact? No, it is, relationship is just like, you know, uh, our machine. If you buy some new gadgets, for example, computer or mobile phones, or uh, something new, then from time to time, we need maintenance. Otherwise, it will not function properly. After some time, there will be some problem. So, if you avoid, it will, will um, problems will be multiple and we shall not be able to work. Similarly, the relationship uh, needs time to time maintenance and 
how we can maintain maintaining if we want that our relations should our relationship should go for a longer period for a lifelong then whether it is intimate or otherwise formal uh, relationship we have to have maintenance and what is that through our communication behavior time to time talking interacting in our uh, renewal relationship renewal is also required surprises gifts wishing each other on certain occasions like birthday marriage ceremony and uh, all the time making other partner other people feel that they are important for us we should not ignore we, we cannot simply uh, take for granted that whatever relationship is there people will understand and it will continue forever so this is very very important and in this process of maintenance maintaining the relationship our communication behavior of course is playing very 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 important role please remember we can make or break relationship through our communication behavior it takes years it takes months to build relationship but it will take just few seconds few minutes to break the relationship you utter just some words and you see that how the person who till last moment he was very nice to us he or she will become very angry just use such some words some bad words and you see so communication is playing very very important role so let let me start further uh, that why relationship some people say say might say that i don't want relationship is it possible that no relationship we can survive we can live somebody can say that okay i am going to the forest i will live alone i don't want to have any relationship with uh, any human being yes but you see that there are people who develop relationship with uh, animals with domestic animals even with the nature with the flowers with the trees uh, with the natural beauty so there is also kind of relationship they enjoy there are people who enjoy more with the with with pet animals like cats and dogs than the human being but that is also relationship they they develop lots of love and affection uh, we, we we have seen that there are people who are having the domestic animals like dogs and most of the time uh, uh, they are spending with these uh, kind of animals because they develop some some sorts of you know uh, very intimate uh, love and relationship for them so relationship is there so we cannot survive without relationship and another uh, reasons for relationship is that necessary for survival many times we need relationship just for survival these are the necessity of our life what are that food water and shelter and for that also because the situation demands if somebody is hungry stomach and if you are giving knowledge or talking very high philosophy he or she is not going to listen so because of survival situation demands that we go to the people from where we can get food to survive so that is very very important there i have to develop we have to develop relationship are uh, there we have seen that when there is natural calamity and the uh, problems even uh, the people who are very rich are well established families but in flood or uh, in uh, in other natural cam- calamities they have lost everything and then if them some from the government side or some organizations uh, voluntary organizations are uh, sending food we have seen that how people are fighting with each other with a small packet of foods these are the necessity if a person is hungry if a person is dying then he will forget all these manners etiquette manners and he will just want to survive life is very very precious for everybody so food water and shelter these are the very very important thing and for that also we want to have relationship develop relationship then next comes safety safety and security is also very very important and for that Uh, we need relationship finally individuals seek more human contacts by nature we human being want to have more contacts with other human beings this is our nature we have seen that uh, people uh, would like to uh, go and talk and spend time with the people w- with whom they like so uh, most of the people like to mix up with the people go and talk of course there are some people they have exceptions as i mentioned that 
they have some other way of looking. Uh, even one can go to the extent that there are some people who are who try to who try to dis, uh, dissociate from this uh, material life, worldly life, and they try to develop relationship with God. It's altogether uh, a spiritual world one can say, and there they derive pleasure. So, but this is very very necessary, important in our human life. So. <coughs> Uh, there are certain tips for communicators when we want to develop relationship. Relationship play an important uh, role in our life. There are several characteristics that help to define relationship and relationship influence our behavior, our goals and attitudes. The formation of relationship depends on our communication pattern. So, kind of friends we are having in our life that might affect our attitude, our behavior the value system of life. You know many times it happens that some people say that uh, just tell me what kind of friends you are, you have, I will tell about your future, about your uh, character, about your behavior. Our friends matters a lot. A friend in need is a friend indeed. Many times perhaps our parents, our family members might not help for certain things, but our close friends. And that is why I say that those who are lucky in their life they get some friends. One cannot get several friends. Those who are lucky, they can get really two, three good friends, good or true friends who are really uh, in a all the time ready to help us. Even if, if we have committed some mistakes, something very bad, they will not run away. Generally, it happens that when we are having bad times, uh, friend circle, in friend circle of friends just escape or they, they, they do not help or they, they run away. But those who are really good friends, they will stand by and they will uh, say that yes, if you have done something wrong, so you should accept and uh, repent and whatever punishment is given, you accept and uh, try to understand and promise that you will not repeat the same thing again. So, this, this is the relationship, this kind of friends really we need, we cannot share our problems with everybody, but if you are having really a good friend, we can say, because sharing itself is a boon. If you are having some sort of problems and uh, if we are try to uh, keep within us for a long period, it creates lots of our health problem, mental problem. But if we are having somebody who can listen to us, who, just sharing itself gives some sort of a relief uh, to us. So, one should try, one should try to develop relationship at least. Uh, few friends one should have, real friends one should have and uh, these friends really help a lot in our bad times. Now, as I was mentioning that uh, this uh, relationship, the characteristics of relationship, the relationship mold people. What kind of company I am, what kind of friends I am having, it will mold my behavior, my character, the way I talk with others, my communication behavior as well. Relationship are subject to human problems. As I have already mentioned that whenever we are having problems, we go to a person to a people where I can get some solution and that is why uh, it also becomes necessary uh, to have relationship with others. So, relationship uh, might be sometimes uh, we have the relationship automatically also situational relationship also possible, but many times we have to have a relationship with others. Now, if I say that relationship of our transitory nature, as I said that no relationship permanent, there is a process. Here, for our understanding, you see that uh, there are four stages one can say that we have the relationship beginning from uh, passing to casual to moderate and deep. Now, I can cite some example passing relationship. Many times it happens that uh, we are just looking at others and uh, Suppose, we are catching the train and uh, every time I find that one, one person, he also catches the train at the same time. And uh, after some time, what happens that because we see each other very often, though we have not talked with each other, but from a distance when we look at him or her, uh, mentally, uh, sometimes we smile or mentally we, we develop some sort of relation. Oh, I am going every day same time, same tray, he is or she is also going same time, uh, same tray. So, we develop some sort of relations. This is called you know some something 
passing relationship we have never talked we have never interacted but mentally we have developed some sort of relationship uh, and uh, some other examples might be that some people uh, uh, sometimes in imaginary world while going some place and uh, they find some beautiful uh, face and they develop some, some sort of relationship mentally. So, this is just you know passing relationship. Then and the relationship is casual sometimes we are going to picnic or some places and casually we meet, meet somebody maybe in the train, maybe at the airport and just say hi, hello and asking the name where are you going. Uh, suppose I am the train and the person is sitting and I ask that where are you going if he says that I am going to Mumbai uh, then I say oh I am also going to Mumbai. So, we develop some, so some sort of casual relationship and then few more interaction is there and uh, this is simply means we are, uh, we are not very much interested in each other, but uh, casually it happens and the once that turn is uh, com sorry journey is com uh, complete then we forget this relationship. Then for all our uh, uh, professional um, life in all our professional life we are having some sort of moderate relationship. Uh, we are going to seminar, conferences, attending the meetings, we are having colleagues and then we are having social gathering. It is a very moderate relationship for all purposes, we are having lots of formalities, asking also uh, how is he, uh, what are the things happening, how are the family members, uh, when you are going on leave, what are you doing in the vacation like that we interact with each other. So, that is called moderate relationship and then there is a relationship stage that is called deep relationship. Now, deep relationship what is deep relationship like wife and husband and family members, brothers, sisters, uh, father and son. So, these are very close relationship, deep relationship, intimate relationship. Now, we have to understand that how the things are happening. Many times it is quite possible that uh, this passing relationship if you are having some interest in him or her might be converted into casual relationship and then casual relationship might go to moderate relationship and the time will come when both the partners, both the uh, members have liking for each other that that can be converted into a deep relationship. So, these are the stages it happens uh, many times people come closer or become get married just means they saw somewhere uh, as I was mentioning passing relationship in the train at the airport railway station and uh, situation uh, it happens so that they met again somewhere and this passing was converted into deep relationship. But again this is also other way around uh, important that when people are having deep relationship due to the problem, due to the conflict because you know problems and conflicts are part and parcel of our life we cannot run away. Our behavior is so complex, we become very happy, we become very sad, we like, we dislike, uh, we have our differences of opinion. So, because of our uh, several problems what happens in our life that this deep relationship with the time is converted into moderate and from moderate the situation comes, the time comes that it is it goes down further and it becomes casual and then it ends with just passing means the deep the people till yesterday uh, they were having very close relationship now they are not uh, in talking terms they do not like each other they have lots of hatred uh, they hate each other. So, this this is this is the way uh, things happen in our life. Now, in this process what is important in this process it is important that uh, uh, we should be very aware about our relationship. If you really want that whatever relationship you are having it should uh, continue for a longer period and there should not be much problem then as I was mentioning that we have to very cautious you know communication behavior number one. Number two that we should try to maintain from time to time we should try to renew. Suppose we have a friend in our school many times we are having friends in our school days uh, then college and we forget, but we never forget the one in whom we had lots of you know love and affection and interest. So, what is required that really if you want that that friendship should continue till the end of our life then time to time 
we should contact, we should telephone, we should write email, letters, invite, uh, we should give gifts, we should visit each other, we should go together for picnic like that. These things are required if you really want that this relationship could, should continue for a longer period. Otherwise, uh, this is our nature, the relationship uh, automatically will die out. Uh, as it happens that many times we are going for conference seminar, as a tourist, uh, picnic spot, we meet somebody and then sometimes you know we are uh, continuing interaction writing mails for one month, two months, three months, but after that we forget. So, if really some relationship matters, some relationship for him, uh, we feel that is very important, then we should keep on trying to renew, to maintain and for that we should put some efforts. Now, these characteristics of relationship, relationship influence people, I have already explained that goals and attitudes and behavior, all these things will get affected. Relationship are activated through communication. Now, the thing is that how through communication we can activate relationship. Communication is playing very, very important role. If you want to have a relationship with somebody, how will do? This is very simple. You have to take the initiative. Means if you want that you should have relationship or you should make some friends or uh, you want uh, some good relationship with some of your colleagues whom you think that he or she might be very helpful or they are very good in nature or if you want to develop some relationship with some spiritual guru, teacher. So, one has to put some efforts that means we have to talk and then I am going to explain that how to make a relationship. There are several stages we have to follow to make the relationship. First one is awareness, Mane, we have to get aware that uh, about the situation really first, first of all we should think that really this is important to have relationship to get aware. Then next step is acquainted, acquaintance means get to know each other, just simply you are uh, telling uh, somebody your name and asking his or her name and then comes next the ground breaking uh, means how to go further, the ground breaking means once you know that what are the things a person would, would like to discuss, some simple suppose somebody is interested in cricket, if you start talking in cricket, somebody is interested in uh, social issues, social problems, if you start talking with that. So, what, if, what will happen? That person will feel a little more free and open to interact and talk. Then rapport building means somebody having some issue, some problem and if you uh, can help him uh, uh, with those problem and issues, then definitely very easily we can build the rapport. Then explore further issues, then negotiate with the issues and then this is very, very important self disclosure. It is said that self disclosure is reciprocal. That means, if I disclose something about myself, about my personal problem, about my personal secrets with somebody. It, it is expected that other person, other partner will also disclose uh, the same thing, the personal issues, personal problems about family, about the secret things. This is very, very important. Here one has to be very cautious. We should not jump uh, uh, to make friendship in hurry, because many times we are put in trouble, out of emotion, out of dep depression, out of uh, certain problems, what happens? The very easily. Uh, we come closer to somebody. If the person is showing some sympathy, uh, we, we think that a person is very nice and uh, we forget everything and then start uh, disclosing our personal problems, personal issues. But here, we have to be very cautious. Self disclosure should come at a very later stage. We have to first uh, test the person whether that person is really uh, good enough. Uh, in whom we can have trust, only then we should come to this self disclosure stage. And this is also sort of testing self disclosure. If, if I am disclosing lot many things about my personal life and I am not listening anything from him or her, so we should be very cautious that person uh, might misuse my uh, information. So, we have to be very cautious because self disclosure generally is supposed to be reciprocal and if this is not happening, we have to very cautious. Then we can identify in what way we can help him and if these uh, mutual needs are met, then relationship will go ahead, relationship will develop. 
but if at any one of these these stages if there is some breakdown uh, if there is uh, some problem is there and uh, one is no more interested not listening no negotiation negotiations taking place no self disclosure is taking place then quite possible that it might break down so these are some of the stages uh, we have to follow in building relationship and of course communication is playing very very important role and this is further explanation of the same thing what i have explained the awareness acquaintance ground breaking report building exploration that means seeking information giving information and then negotiation self disclosure that is formation of bonds reduce needs of further testing because once we have tested the self disclosure then no more testing is required as i have already mentioned that self disclosure is reciprocal identification means efforts made to determine the partner's needs and efforts made to fulfill the partner needs so if if you are able to meet the mutual uh, needs of each other then definitely relationship will go ahead it will advance otherwise with all probability it will break so break, breaking and uh, developing or making relationship in both the cases what is important that communication is playing very very important role even from the initial stage awareness what is important communication if you are not communicating we cannot develop relationship how can we develop relationship if you want to develop relationship with somebody then we have to communicate we have to express ourselves things will not happen automatically many times it happens that people are thinking too much but when situation demands and uh, uh, opportunities come they are not able to express they out of fear or out, out of certain they become very shy so this is also willingness to communicate unless and until we are communicating telling our problem telling our views telling our opinion how others will understand so this is very important we should not take for granted that others will understand no no why others will understand so willing there should be willingness to communicate express yourself tell even many times it happens that <coughs> some people uh, because of their shy nature they do not express even they love somebody even they want to propose somebody they keep on waiting and waiting and waiting and that time goes away opportunities goes away they lost the situation and the opportunities so with the right time with the right situation one should try to communicate express there should be a willingness so finally what you look for in relationship you look for someone like yourself in relationship generally if somebody's nature and behavior is matching with my nature and behavior i will be automatically very really close to him or her so this is you know these are something very natural with the human being we come very close and uh, if our behavior nature our food habits our liking in language these these are the factors bring people together you look for people who can do something for you yeah if i am having some problem where i will go i will go to the person who can help me who can guide me who can suggest me who can find out some solution so we need some people we have to develop some relationship i can go to the friend when we are in difficulties when we are passing so through hardships we try to remember oh let me let me ring him let me contact him oh he can help and we feel very much relieved at that particular moment you look for someone who can help you keep you in balance yes many times it happens that we are having lots of personal problem professional problems family problems and then we do not find any solution so we go we, and in this situation if somebody is there coming and giving consoling and saying don't worry <coughs> i am there we feel uh, very much relieved we feel good so this is very very important you look someone who is dynamic and sociable means uh, who is dynamic who can help uh, who understand our problems and <coughs> who is also sociable understand the relationship other persons others behavior 
and help in our need. So, always it is good and we should try to uh, look for these type of people. So, uh, I would uh, like to conclude that relationship matters a lot in our life, whether this is related to conflicts, this is related to personal problems, family problems, always we should try to uh, develop relationship, whatever relationship you are having and as I mentioned earlier that maintenance of relations is very, very important and in all these, what is the most important thing is that our communication behavior. We should be very, very cautious, we have to be very, very alert in our communication behavior and this is the communication behavior with whom we can make our life easier, comfortable, we can become happy and we can make others happy. So, this is really a boon of God that if which is given means about our communication, about our speaking. With that, I would like to finish my talk. Thank you very much. <laughs>